I think I'm naturally a caretaker. I decided I was gonna be a doctor when I was five. I took care of my dolls. I've always been interested in caring for younger children. It was kind of part of my disposition from an early age. I went to college and I was pre-med. I wavered for some time and actually pursued a master's in public health. But it was during my time in Africa that I became convinced that I needed a clinical skill to work in that space. Hi, how are you? When I was making my decision about what field to go into, the field of oncology was dynamic, the science was rapidly evolving, and I also realized the depth and the intensity and the power of the relationships with patients in oncology, and I think ultimately that's what made my decision for me. It was a very aggressive tumor. We stopped it in its tracks. In my role as an oncologist, I have this really unique perspective into the resilience of the human spirit. And sitting with a patient in crisis is hard, but it's also a privilege. The trust is so central to what I do. And I always want my patients to know that I am fighting for him or her with the same attention to detail, the same advocacy, and the same level of empathy as I would as if they were my family member.